guys, how you guys doing? It's Henry and Rosenbaum. Today it's a nice sunny day. 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 Today it's a nice sunny
Okay. No, no, I got the prime bulb in my house. So I gotta get, I gotta get it to you. Cool. And Let's go check out your backyard. <laughs> All right. So. Wow. Everything's still Dude. Dude. See how much I gotta clean out, right? It doesn't look like you've put too much of a dent in this, man. Yeah, uh, you can say that again. Holy cow, how are you gonna get rid of all this stuff, bro? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All, all, all the, uh, well, you know, all the, uh, oh, that's crazy, man. So there's Pete hanging out over here. We've loaded up the uh, Husqvarna. His Husqvarna has a Cougar 21 crawler in it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it has a bad... Bad uh, governor shaft. has a bad shaft. governor shaft in it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to fix it, I guess. I mean, I got no choice. I don't have any engines. I got two two tractors with no engines in it. I need I need engines, so I I have it. to try to fix it. So he also he's also giving me this um, Tecumseh P ninety one Peerless Hydro Trans. Hydro Trans. Yep. What's wrong with it? Nothing. I just gave it to you because I know you need a fan for yours. <laughs> it's probably gonna end up taking. It's gonna, it's the same transmission as this one, so it ain't gonna be that hard. If you you know, it'll be better for parts. This will be better for parts for yours. Yeah, you think? Honestly. Yeah, I mean, if you want, but you know, you should keep it as a whole tractor because I got a lot of bids for this. It doesn't really match my Excuse tractor. Excuse the helicopter, guys. I live in World War II. <laughs> I believe mine's a K65 Tough tough Torx. Yeah, K65 Tough I even called Lowe's the price of motor. They have a number here and everything? Yeah. Fuck that. They wanted as much as the tractor. That's man. retarded. It is retarded. So he's moving soon. He tells me I'm helping him get rid of some stuff oh, yeah, out of his know. lawn, but I'm I'm thankful for his generosity for him giving me all this stuff. You know, I could always use this stuff. Look at look at this. Check this out, guys. Oh yeah. That's Holy cow! It took us like an hour, an hour <laughs> just to pile these two push mowers in here. I mean, we had to pile it so that I would be able to shift because my uh, little truck here is a uh, five-speed and. I wasn't able to shift with that horizontally, so we had to put it vertically for me to have room to shift. God bless us that we're here. That's because it. Because he would have never done it on his own. Definitely not. So, oh, this is this is Pete Lombardi's pops. I was talking to him for a bit today. But, uh, hey, guys, so this is Mother Load 11. Mother Load 11. We got the Husqvarna tractor in there with a blown engine. We got the deck. We've got some wheels. He gave me a P... 61, 61 peerless yeah uh, got a couple of uh, push mowers in there I gotta tell you some guys um, Pete Lombardi's backyard there's like 10 million mosquitoes and apparently they only like Chinese yeah they don't like me seriously I mean I've, I literally have like 70 mosquito bites everywhere you look like connected dots it's retarded those. you know but you know what <laughs> I'm so used to um, mosquito bites that uh, Jesus Christ, look at that. See? Yeah, Henry. Henry he's just course, completely I retarded. This, of course, I bring this out after he's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Lombardi. I, I, I forgot I had it in there. That's great. Well, you know, I'll spray some on there so they don't keep killing me. But, uh, you know, these things will go down like in a day. You know, uh, I'm, I'm like immune to mosquito bites yeah, now. Yeah, for me too. Anyway, it was a good day for me today to come visit my buddy Pete Lombardi. I'm uh, sad to see him uh, leave New York, but you know what? I'll come back and visit. We're always going to be talking on uh, YouTube and Instagram and stuff, you know, and... uh got Henry's number. Henry's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> watching his videos. I appreciate it. Hey, you know, also, Pete's uh, a big uh, mowers and blowers fan. He's watched, like, every one of my videos and stuff. Everyone, but at least once or twice. He totally knows, like, the storylines. He knows what which tractor of mine has what problems, what I need. So, I mean, it's all... I mean, actually, Pete, Pete is one of, like, ten dudes that uh, always watches my videos like uh, like um, 
That guy, um, Marshall, uh, his, that's his last name, I forget his name. Oh, I forgot. And you got know, that other guy that does the small engines on Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Chris's too. small engines. Yeah, I got uh, uh, Billy, Billy Wright. Yeah, he well, always comments. Gary. Oh, we Gar got to play, you know, before we leave, we got to take you to a place. You'll go ballistic. What are you talking about, man? I got to get out of here. I know, but <laughs> one day, it's got vintage tracks all over the place. He oh. sells. He sells tractors of all different ages, old four-wheel drive. Tractors like this, four-wheel drive, from the beautiful. 1950s. Really? You can eat off of them. Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this is uh, yeah. Mother Load 11. Lucky 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's it. Now you got to go get a slurpee. Anyway, I uh, hope I don't get pulled over on the way home. And uh, we bid adieu to Pete Lombardi. But we'll see him again, you know? Anyway, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. So I'm home now. Got the deck off by myself. It's pretty easy. I'm stronger than I think I was. Uh, that I think I am. Anyway, so uh, all I have to do is just uh, slowly roll this Husqvarna down. Hope it doesn't run me over. So here's all the stuff that I unpacked. The uh, peerless tranny. A couple of engine shrouds. The bag for one of those mowers. Recoil starter. A couple of rear tractor tires, a couple of brand new blades that he couldn't use, double pulley, snow blower tire, this Craftsman uh, lawnmower, Murray push mower, and the Husqvarna YTH21 K46 Kohler. Has a courage in there, but it's uh, blown has a blown uh, governor on the inside. I might try to fix that. I'm, I'm interested to see if I could fix it, you know. I really have no choice because I don't have two engines <laughs> to freely put on there. So uh, unfortunately that will have to sit in my garage for a while along with this baby with no engine. That's a beauty, seriously. That's really a beauty. I mean, it's mint condition, man. It's so clean. It's like new. Anyway. Thanks Pete Lombardi again for uh, giving me all this stuff. I know he thinks that I'm helping him out by helping him clear out his yard. But in reality though, he's a very generous guy for giving me all this stuff. Um, I'm calling this the mother load 11 because uh, it's quite a lot of stuff, you know? And uh, he gave it all to me for free. Because he's that kind of guy, you know? Unfortunately, I think he has a lot more on his plate. You know, he's got a lot of other stuff in his, in his yard. And I don't know how he's going to clean all that stuff out, you know. He may have to bring me some stuff that's left over, you know. But uh, anyhow, I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Anyway, hope I don't get run over by this. I'm going to take this down now. So I just whipped out the uh, power washer and uh, made some magic. Damn. Super clean. Well, not as clean as the um, Scots that I had. Remember that one? Holy cow. That one was like, went from barn fine to like brand new, you know? Ooh, how clean the wheels are, right? It's pretty good though, you know? I uh, might as well have, uh, power wash these two, you know? And that didn't do anything there. But, uh, yeah, power wash pretty much everything that was out here, you know? I hope everything's still there because you know when you power wash stuff stuff's flying all over the place no idea if I'm missing a screw now or not I'll find it on my uh, lawn you know anyway power wash pretty much everything in my area you know might as well you have it out anyhow it's getting uh, kind of gloomy like it might rain or something so uh, that was today um, just picking up Mother load 11 from my buddy Pete Lombardi gave it all to me. Thanks, Pete. Thanks again. You're one generous dude. Anyway, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.